hip hip hooray stability creativity and prosperity september 2013 think is the new celebrated independence 30 and oh what an auspicious occasion it was for the people of Nevis when our first premier, the father and architect of modern Nevis, the right excellent Sir Dr. Simeon Daniel, was elevated posthumously as the Federation's fourth national hero. Sir Daniel was an eloquent lawyer and astute politician and has left an indelible mark on the socio-economic landscape of this Federation. He would be remembered for his pivotal role in putting country above self, for us to achieve independence, and for his vision to improve the quality of life for every division. He was instrumental in establishing the indigenous bank of Nevis, the Nevis Sixth Form College, and Nevis's flagship hotel, the renowned Five Diamond Four Seasons Resort, Nevis. The people of Nevis are proud and salute Dr. Simeon Daniel. Tonight, it is with this same pride that I, 17-year-old Arvik Nisbet, represent my my homeland, the Queen of the Caribbean, Nevis! The multicolored, Isis wings, pretty boss here, feathered pant legs, and flamboyant feathered headpiece, all combined to reflect 30 years of stability, 30 years of creativity, and 30 years of prosperity. Amidst a fantastic fusion of great pomp, ceremony, and palpable excitement, my idyllic island paradise commemorated 30 years of serenity. Patriotic splendor was at its best and distinctively designed to cross barriers. National Health and Fitness Week, National Pride Week, and Family Week, of course. Defining moments, a spanking new hemodialysis unit at JNF, a spectacular culture-infused gala night, breathtaking fireworks, and a massive super concert. The patriotic pinnacle of them all, armed forces in full regalia at our traditional ceremonial parade. National flags flying high as the melodious sound of our anthem pealed throughout our land. What unbridled exuberance and ecstatic energy. Clearly, a renewed sense of national pride. Independence 30, in joyful reminiscence of our glorious past, in anticipation of a progressive future. <laughs> profound cause that we, small island developing states, through some of our common causes and struggles, are bonded in the belief that the fundamental cure for economic deprivation, which causes both people and governments to be incapacitated, is not money, but knowledge, as Sir Arthur Lewis rightly reminds us. This knowledge must be sought in new and exciting approaches within this highly technological era. In My Fair Helen, nearly 3,300 laptops were provided to Form 4 students from the island's 24 secondary schools, complements the government of St. Lucia. Each laptop is equipped with over $20,000 worth of software to enhance the learning process at students' fingertips. This $6 million venture is financed largely by the European Union. It is through such initiatives that intergenerational sustainability lives, thereby ensuring that our secondary school students become armed with the critical nuclear arsenal, needed not for violence, but for survival in this globalized world. All over the world, there is no place as sweet as home. I got a 
America's Paradise. I am Dejanique Destiny Lidi. I welcome you to the capital of the United States Virgin Islands, Charlotte and Mali. Named after Queen Charlotte of Hesse Kessel, Germany, in 1667, Prince Christian V met, courted, and married young Charlotte. In 1670, Charlotte and Prince Christian was named King and Queen of Denmark and reigned over all affairs of the country, including governing the Virgin Islands. Today, Charlotte Amali is one of the busiest cruise ship ports in the Caribbean, bringing an average of 1.8 million passengers each year. I invite you to join me in celebrating one of the most beautiful cruise ship ports in the Caribbean. I am Dejanique Destiny Lady, Miss US Virgin Islands, Talented team. What's it all in me? What's it all in me? 